Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today I'll be talking washing machines. I know the topic is not very exciting for some, but I love it and I'm going a little bit geek on a subject. I'm not going into technical details of the washing machine, but um, what I would like to say, I was approached by one of the suppliers and ask to review a washing machine and full disclaimer most of my videos on my channel uh, goods were provided to me to test and keep it doesn't mean i give high marks for everything that i test you may notice that i've got a um, couple of um, uh, items with very poor reviews or poor uh, features one of them was um, I think um, iron from uh, Philips, I believe it was a couple of years ago that uh, included a cord of one meter that you cannot even stretch iron to iron your clothes. I think it was very poor design, even though iron was all right or actually quite good to iron clothes, but that short cord uh, deal breaker. So even if goods provided to me, it doesn't mean I'll automatically leave good reviews. The whole idea of my channel is to get unbiased reviews without any bull attached to it. And I, I think um, most of uh, viewers on my channel appreciate that I help with the little niggly things like a SATA heat pump dryer when you're trying to drain it uh, and, and the kit that supply with the heat pump dryer even though the dryer itself is great the kit is really confusing so the idea of the channel not only review the item but also help you to understand whether the item is for you will you benefit from it is it best um, purchase for your hard-earned money and so on so let's talk about uh, washing machines and um, to be honest my um, when the retailer approached me I had choice to review another heat pump dryer or washing machine and I already uh, had opinion on Samsung I had an opinion on a SATA and I think if I would review another heat pump dryer it would not create an evolution of the um, product because literally um, I think we due to next step in evolution of that particular item a uh, couple of companies pushing higher energy rating but there's no any other fancy features that's fundamentally different from what it is right now so if you purchase a heat pump dryer uh, your choice would be between lower energy rating to high energy rating most of them utilizing almost same technology and gives you different warranties so it's not so exciting so when retailer approached me to review washing machine or heat pump dryer i chose washing machine and i'll explain why in a second but let's talk about washing machines in general i think if you would be um, in a market for washing machine around i guess 15 20 years ago i don't remember exact timeline uh, the idea would be between brands and reliability and your biggest choice would be front loader or top loader that was around 20 years ago things change a lot since then i guess um, around i think 10 years ago it was a really big what i call leap in tendency of giving more not just more reliable brand but there's a couple of changing technologies appear in washing machines first of all um, many reputable brands start doing inverter motors uh, and uh, motors became brushless so what that means uh, it means it's quieter it's more energy efficient and uh, way more reliable than original motors that were driving washing machines but that's not a big deal i mean that's a technical specification that you may appreciate um, longevity of the washing machine but it's not necessarily something that it gives to you um, what uh, did change at that point in time that Samsung introduced um, what they call bubble wash? Uh, I think Bosch introduced uh, dosing of um, detergents and fabric softeners 
and also LG and Samsung introduce uh, beyond standard sizes of 6 to 8 kilogram load to uh, up to 16 kilos for domestic use. That was absolutely wonderful and I think I was one of the first users of 16 kilo um, normal household washing machine. I still have it and if you did not uh, see my video I think I tried to link the card below above uh, with that video. It's, it's a, it is an amazing washing machine. I bought it with, uh, actually I bought it, I did not uh, get it from a um, uh, retailer for review. I was so excited about the opportunity I bought it um, and the clear benefits of that was <clears throat> quite a drive. 16 kilos of load, that means I could consolidate three normal loads that I used before and do one single load and if settings are all right, the colors will not run um, and you, if, if you deploy bubbles, you can actually overload sometimes washing machine because it's still washing quite well. That was five and a half, maybe six years ago and still this washing machine is my main washing machine. It does not slow down, it works beautifully, but since then uh, technology again changed and when suppliers send me specifications for a new washing machine I just realized that it is time to try something new. Um, one thing I probably will miss from that washing machine I got currently now is 16 kilo load. New washing machine the biggest one I could choose number of sizes so I've chosen um, 10 kilos which was the biggest on offer and that's the only one downside and I really would like to put it right on the table for everyone who coming from big washing machine there's no variation of that particular brand and I'll talk about the brand and offering in my next video when I actually review washing machine but this particular brand it's the biggest offer uh, they provide 10 kilos front loader and I think for me it will be downside because I will go from one washing a week back to two which is a little bit upsetting I get I got used to 16 kilos it's wonderful so what is new in a new washing machine so technology moved on and you've got usual things that um, more modern washing machines provide it's inverter motor which is great uh, as I say it's uh, as longevity it's quieter quite a drive and and all of that uh, it's also does like what all um, I guess top brands do it does um, detergent and fabric softener softener uh, dosing that means you don't need to worry about that it does what Samsung I think introduced uh, four to five years ago they call it Ed Wash um, I think it's uh, patented and branded but uh, most of the brands now um, introduce function if you started washing machine and forgot one or two things to put in you always can pause it add uh, at any time what you need to add and continue with washing so that was already uh, on the market five years ago now one thing significantly changed uh, in the last year or two uh, it's to do with um, I guess I don't want to name uh, what's going around because my video will be flagged but as you know uh, viruses and bacteria are a big thing right now and um, it was discovered I think two to three years ago that with particular length of ultraviolet rays or UV rays in combination you can sanitize items and this is how you may see on the market uh, mobile phone uh, sanitizer kit that you put it in a case and UV blasts on the, on the phone and without wiping it you end up with a phone without viruses and germs on it. That technology uh, moved into uh, washing machines believe it or not. So that washing machine that I will be reviewing on top of all the features that I described would also have UV sanitizer built in. 
that is very exciting step from and my mind from three different perspectives first one is uh, I'm very big on um, being as green as I can be without compromising my lifestyle and UV sanitization of your washing would reduce the amount of detergent that washing machine would use that is amazing first of all use probably I don't want to claim but you would use less um, uh, detergent you will use less uh, use less um, fabric softener because many people use fabric softener to make uh, clothes smell nice um, when you kill bacteria whatever wasn't smelling nice would not smell at all so you would use less detergent because you need less of it to make clothes smell the way you want it the second one is um, I think five to ten years ago um, all the claim that you can wash your cloth in uh, cold water was a little bit I think overstated because um, yes you could wash it in the, in the cold water but the hygiene of the wash would not be the same if you would, in the, uh, would wash in the, in the higher temperatures now with UV light that kills bacteria and viruses as you wash the temperature of the water almost doesn't matter detergent will take care of the uh, all the oils and, and dirt and all of that but bacteria and viruses would be taken care by UV rays that would kill bacteria and viruses so it's an amazing opportunity to wash with less detergent in colder water and do it in a shorter period of time those three things are really excite me in a uh, washing machine tech uh, the last one is a bit of me being on the geeky side everything now is uh, connected to internet yes the washing machine is Wi-Fi enabled and I'm looking forward to testing it I'm not sure what I will do with that um, also trusted washing machine to do job always was leaving house when washing was uh, going on um, I knew when washing starts when it finishes so um, I did not need to uh, follow up washing uh, through my device but look maybe it will like cars will um, more like uh, full diagnose themselves maybe it would suggest something maybe it will be some artificial intelligence built on it I've got no idea or maybe it will show you uh, levels of detergent or um, and uh, fabric software I've got no idea I did not look into the product uh, I just look into technology to choose what I will review so this video is just discussing me choosing between reviewing heat pump uh, dryer or washing machine why I've chosen washing machine but also I would like to ask my viewers if you would like to know anything else about that washing machine or technology or you would like me to review specific things in that washing machine that would uh, make your purchase future purchase easier let me know also uh, put statement out there um, not that I have much time but uh, if any other retailer would like genuinely um, provide me items with reviewing and giving genuine opinion so they can improve um, other support or features or see um, people's perceptions or help connect customers to reviews to uh, their own offerings doesn't matter what your plan is if you'd like me to review anything feel free to reach me out on this channel and I'll see I won't review everything because literally I I'm trying not to promote any items if I'm not interested in interested in a, an item uh, I won't review it uh, it's just upfront statement I want to review things that I believe add value to people around us and I tend not to promote things only because they're given to me so anyhow um, put comments down below if you'd like me to describe or test anything in particular on that new washing machine I think it should arrive in uh, two to five weeks uh, it will take me time to I think start it up and understand um, how it works so I can uh, review it based on 
um, knowledge and not making mistakes and claiming something that doesn't work. So just bear with me and I'll collect information and based on your feedback and an item that I'll receive, I'll do a comprehensive review of that washing machine. Again, thank you so much for tuning out for my channel. Um, have a great day. Until next time, Greg from Brisbane, Australia.